All right, so your central microwave will not heat in. Stick around, watch this video, I'll show you the problem and how to fix it. All right, so today we'll be working on the central microwave. And it thing with microwave is coming on by not heating, right? So I'll plug it on. Use the old famous ice in a cup to test for heat. Alright, so this is the ice, the world famous ice in a cup to test for heat. Alright, so And I will set it for 12 seconds. All right, so. Alright, so you don't drops of water. Alright, drops of water. So it's not heating. Alright, so I will open it up and show you what is the problem. Alright, so it's already open, the back cover already open, right? Where's that side? Now, the, f the next step now, sometimes in this, right? Sometimes the microwave not heating because it could be the capacitor the problem, the magnetron, or the fuse, right? So I want to call it fuse. Now you'll be careful that when you when you move removing the fuse, you don't want to touch these terminals in the capacitor because it will not charge. A very hard a very high charge. Alright, so remove the fuse. Oh yeah, and don't forget, make sure it unplug. Alright, so I'll open the casing for the fuse and I will test for continuity. All right, so All right, so we want to test for continuity on the fuse. Right, so again I read in, again continuity. So the fuse is good. Now the next step, secure back this, put it back in place. Right, so the next step now is to test the magnetron. Sometimes the magnetron is the problem in our working, that why not heated. So I will remove this connection. Making sure you mix it up. Alright, so the same way you take it out, the same way you put back in order. And I will check for continuity. Alright, so. Alright, so we're checking for continuity in the two terminals. From, from one terminal to the other, right? Right, you're gonna read in. That is good. And now we check if a continuity from one terminal to the body. Alright, so you're getting continuity. 
you're not supposed to get continuity right so I'll check the other terminal and same thing you're not supposed to get no continuity so this magnetron gone all right so this is the replacement magnetron and if you watch you can see that this one good so you check in terminals for terminals right again continuity you're gonna read in so this working so far and now we're testing from one terminal to the body and there's nothing right no continuity no reading and then switch it around from one terminal to the body and nothing so this magnetron good so so far the problem we come across so far is the magnetron so I will remove the magnetron hook up this one and run it and see how it working all right so we're gonna remove these screws here right have two screws remove these two screws that hold it to my cut off then remove this one across here And then have two other screws to remove the holy shield between the uh, magnetron and the bottom. And now there's two screws that hold the magnetron. Alright, so let's remove it. And just pull it out. Right, so all right, so this is the bad magnetron, right? Now, some tiny magnetron are not working because the magnet it crack. Right, so you have to inspect it and you can see there's no crack in the magnet so the magnet is not the problem so the problem is um is inside here right there's a uh, filament inside here the filament inside here it go on it either burn out or it just fail right so this is the bad one put that aside and this is the replacement one right so open up this here gonna make sure the magnet in this one good to inspect it before you install it
right. Press back this across here. The shield. Hook up back the um the wires to the terminals. Alright, so everything's secure. Alright, so now we will try it out. Alright, so plug it on. And I'll set it for 12 seconds. Alright, so you're getting heat inside and the water melts a little bit. Alright, so the ice melts a little bit. So I'll run it for at least 20 seconds. Alright, so I'll run it for 20 seconds and the ice will melt on more. Alright, so the ice melt on more. You can see I get smaller too. Alright, so it's working. It heating and working. So the main problem was really magnetron. Alright, so once you change the magnetron, everything will should be working good. Once the magnetron is bad. Right? So the magnetron hot. Alright, so I'll put back this together.
all right so I'll put back everything together and I'll get back to you right all right so everything's secure everything's screwed up you're making sure that everything hook up correct okay right so now is the cover part now I will cover it and get back to you all right so we do final testing again to make sure it's heating all right I will set this for 30 seconds. As you can see, the eyes get smaller. And there's plenty of water that melts from the ice. So it working. As always, thanks for watching all my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. Until next time, Mr. Fix It 360 saying good luck with all your repairs.